Tune in Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the Your Body is Your Pharmacy radio show. Hear from the doctors that were among the first in the U.S. to merge the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda and natural medicines with the advances of modern medical science. Listen to pioneer doctors Varender Sodi, Shalinder, and Anju Sodi to keep up with some of the latest medical advances and learn from some of the true leaders of Ayurvedic medicines every Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. with the Your Body is Your Pharmacy radio show on Day C1250 AM, radio that listens to you. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma Treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues, and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Hi folks, this is Dr. Virinda Sodi with your favorite show, Your Body is a Natural Pharmacy. And every Saturday we bring some special program for you where you learn how your body is the natural pharmacy and you can help your body to remain healthy by following simple laws of mother nature eating properly exercising properly sleeping properly and maybe taking some supplements here and there and you will be in wonderful health Uh, death is imminent we all gonna die but that's not the point here Uh, we cannot dodge death but we can have a quality of life and how many years we live we can live very healthy and my today's topic is uh, the gum disease, or which is also called periodontal disease. So it's very common because more than 50% population of U.S. is suffering, suffering with the uh, periodontal disease or gum disease. And uh, basically what goes on, there is the inflammation in the gum lining. And uh, that inflammation is because the mouth gets, has a bacteria and uh, there are different species of bacteria in the mouth and some unfriendly bacteria grows more. So there are good bacteria and bad bacteria. And the good bacteria usually help you to protect you, although they can be problematic if your immune system is weak. Uh, the bad bacteria causes the more inflammation. So whenever there is an imbalance between these good bacteria and bad bacteria, the body has an inflammatory response and that is also true in the gum disease. So basically what happens is when you develop these uh, overgrowth of these bacteria, unfriendly bacteria, which causes the inflammation and uh, uh, we collect sticky, gooey plaque on the teeth, which is called tartar or plaque. And uh, so if you don't brush regularly, you are going accumulating and you're going to have a uh, problem with your uh, gums. Uh, if you, some people just go on making you know, tons of it and they need a uh, dental uh, appointment to remove it. So I'm not a dentist, but I'm going to tell you about the dentistry field, which is completely related to the, the um, internal medicine field. So why it is uh, important to have a healthy gums? Because it has been shown to have lots of diseases. So the... Um, different phases of inflammation in the gums cause for the different kind of uh, uh, diseases. Uh, for example, uh, we call gingivitis. Gingivitis is just a minor inflammation of the gums. But when the gingivitis progress further, it turns into a periodontal disease or, uh, and, or periodontitis. And this is a more kind of uh, uh, advanced disease where there is a pockets of plaque and the bacteria are collected in those pockets. And uh, so if you uh, have gone to your uh, 
dentist. Your dentist always asks you to floss and brush your teeth. And the flossing helps to remove the food particles and also the plaque from the uh, your teeth. And uh, But uh, if you're not doing it, and some people hereditarily make it more, and they are go on, you know, adding on to this uh, problem, and uh, uh, you can have serious health diseases. Why? Uh, because the inflammation in the gum has been related to diabetes. So the diabetes, you know, as you know, uh, is catching up. Almost 20% population of America is having diabetes. So when people have diabetes, their inflammation is more anywhere. But uh, when you have a gum disease, what happens is your body get inflamed and your insulin is not as effective in converting your carbohydrate into glycogen, which is the storage form of the sugar. And that sugar uh, in the glycogen form stores in the liver and in the muscles. So these muscle storage and the liver storage is the warehouse of a glycogen storage. But insulin is very much needed to convert that. If your insulin is not sensitive, it is not going to help you the whole process there. So that's why I think it's very important for us to have a healthy gums and teeth uh, because the unfriendly bacteria and there is a so many different uh, varieties of bacteria and there are even some viruses uh, which has been implicated too so i think maybe we don't know the full story there may be some viruses from bacteria some fungus which can grow uh, because we know a little bit right now uh, so what what uh, what happens if you have a periodontal disease the cardiovascular disease is very common disease so people who has the periodontal disease or gum disease they are more prone to uh, having more cardiovascular diseases so the risk increases considerably uh, according to studies that uh, when a person has a periodontal disease which is associated with around 90% increase in the cardiovascular disease so that's a huge huge jump and uh, so you can see that you know if you have to have a healthy a healthy uh, gums to have a healthy heart and uh, because you're constantly swallowing those bacteria from your uh, mouth to the uh, gut and then that is creating inflammation and the inflammation is going all over the body and uh, even is settling down in the blood vessels where it causes the inflammation of the blood vessels and uh, when the blood vessels are inflamed first they can you know uh, in the small blood vessels they can cause a heart attack but even in the larger blood vessels there would be a plaque formation happening there and when you have a plaque formation you are also prone to having uh, heart disease and stroke because similarly uh, stroke is the same disease as heart disease but is happening in the brain uh, so in interestingly the uh, Previously, it was thought that the bacteria is the cause of uh, the uh, heart disease, and uh, but but it's coming out that the inflammation is the cause of heart disease. So when people has a gum disease, their C-reactive protein, which is a, a special measure for the inflammation in the blood vessels, is elevated. And when you have elevated C-reactive protein, people are prone to 60% more heart attacks. A lot of people out there, they have a heart attack and they don't know they have elevated C-reactive protein. Even I have seen some of my doctor friends who has a heart attack and nobody checked their C-reactive protein. When I checked their C-reactive protein, that was very elevated and they actually were, uh, uh, they had a heart attack because of the elevated C-reactive protein. So basically, you know, you can see that uh, if you have a gum disease, you're also triggering the heart disease and uh, uh, you need to uh, stop your uh, uh, gums from getting inflamed. And uh, uh, we will talk about what we can do to help that whole process there, uh, how you can cut down the inflammation in the gum and how you can heal your gum as we go through the different diseases uh, with the 
uh, periodontal disease. The second disease, which is uh, also very common, is diabetes. And the 20% American population has a diabetes. But when people have periodontal disease, they have a lot more chances of getting diabetes. Or people who are diabetic has more periodontal disease. So you can see it's a reverse relationship. The one disease actually encourage the other disease and vice versa. So again, why is that? Because the inflammation, which is triggered by the gum disease, uh, because of certain bacteria and uh, there is a you know variety of these uh, periodontal pathogens uh, one of them is actinomyces and uh, candida and so there is a you know different variety of these bacteria which has been uh, implicated in the periodontal disease uh, and so when their number is going up the body is responding in the form of inflammation inflammation is a natural response on the part of the body to get rid of that infection. But when that infection becomes uncontrolled, we are having issues with the, uh, managing that. And the sugar goes out of hand because it's not properly stored into the muscles and to the liver. And you, here you get the diabetes. So now you can see why people with the periodontal disease or gum disease will get diabetes because because the inflammation, the ins insulin is not working properly and people collect uh, the uh, sugar into circulation back again and uh, uh, that what the diabetes is. Diabetes is the excessive amount of sugar circulating in the system. Uh, body has a certain threshold and after that it does not absorb. So we'll come back after the break, short break, and we'll continue our discussion with periodontal disease and what things you need to do and what kind of diseases it triggers and we will you know cover them one by one and then after that i will give you uh, tools what tools you have in your hand to help the periodontal disease are you looking for quality ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues we offer a holistic wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases call us at 425-453-8022 for more information if you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues, and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma Treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Welcome back. Uh, we are listening to your favorite show, Your Body's a Natural Pharmacy. This is Dr. Virendra Swadi. And we're talking about periodontal disease. So one other interesting uh, factor about periodontal disease is when the mothers have, especially the pregnant mothers, when they have periodontal disease, the babies has a low weight. And uh, low weight babies has a less survival and they get also lots of other diseases. So very important that the mothers keep good hygiene of their teeth and uh, take care of uh, their periodontal disease ASAP because this can put the newborn kid into a lot of uh, uh, risks factors so you can see that why is also very important for the uh, you know especially pregnant female to keep good oral hygiene uh, periodontal diseases also has been linked with osteoporosis what that means is people who has uh, uh, periodontal disease are more prone to osteoporosis or bone loss uh, because basically i think it's the inflammation which causes it because body is in inflamed stage all the time and when the body is in, in inflamed stage, uh, body is not repairing, it's actually doing destruction. 
uh, the inflammation cause destruction on it, especially on a long-term basis. Short-term inflammation is there to help you heal the body, but if that, inst- that inflammation lasts for a long time, that does a lot of uh, destruction in the body. So again, the people who has uh, more uh, of a, a uh, gum disease, they are more prone to the uh, osteoporosis. Other diseases which have been you know, linked with the uh, gum disease is rheumatoid arthritis. People who has uh, you know, rheumatoid arthritis, they have more uh, gum diseases. So again, the rheumatoid arthritis is also a inflammatory disease and uh, once uh, they have the inflammatory disease, uh, they are also causing m- the more flare up. And uh, it has been noticed that when these people with uh, rheumatoid arthritis, when their gum disease goes away, their signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis diminishes. So this is another reason why we should have a healthy gums. Risk factor for the uh, gum diseases are smoking. Whenever people are smoking, they are increasing the risk of having gum diseases because what, what the smoking does, it to uh, make your oxygen level utilized by the smoking. So your body is getting less oxygen and you will have problem uh, with the healthy circulation in that area, and especially the smoke is going directly to your gums, uh, you will have problem with that one. Uh, when females are going through hormonal changes, they also have more gum diseases. Uh, diabetes also increases the uh, risk of uh, having more uh, gum diseases. And certain medications also uh, make uh, the gum disease more. And one of them is anti-convulsant medicine like Dalantin, which was previously used and sometimes still used. Uh, and anti-angina, uh, the heart pain drug like a Procardia, uh, Adalit, uh, can also cause the abnormal growth of the gum tissue and the bleeding of the gums. So these, and there are some other medications which does it too. But uh, when you are on these medications, there is uh, uh, more um, uh, more issue with the uh, gum disease. So why why is that uh, the, you get the gum disease in the beginning? I think we talked about a little bit. This is all the bacteria game. And then when the bacteria got uh, out of control, the good versus bad one. You got uh, uh, more inflammation because the body make inflammatory molecules to help to cut down that inflammation. But if you're not listening to the body, you are going to have problem. I forget to mention that uh, when people have the more gum disease, they also has more respiratory diseases like pneumonia because the bacteria from your gum can travel to the lungs and cause the uh, pneumonia. So it's very common people who have the periodontal disease and if your immune system is especially weak, you will have uh, more of uh, pneumonia. Uh, you may be surprised to know that a search has found that people who has more gum disease, they are more prone to kidney cancer, around 50% more likely to develop kidney cancer and 54% more likely to develop pancreatic cancer and 30% more likely to develop blood cancer. So you can see it is a periodontal disease is, is in bad news. And uh, uh, it has also been found that people who have a gum disease also are uh, prone to dementia uh, or uh, uh, the loss of memory. So basically you can see that, you know, the, this chronic inflammation is leading to a lot of, lot of uh, complications. Then uh, we are, if we're not able to... Uh, help the whole process, you know, we are going to ask for a big trouble there. So what you should do to help your periodontal disease? And first of all, I think you should need to go uh, to a dentist, make a visit to a dentist and access uh, uh, his help and uh, see what you can do to help the whole process of the dental disease. Uh, There are um, tools which I will tell you a little later, but some simple uh, tools which you can help there. Uh, on a daily basis, you can floss your teeth, you brush your teeth. Uh, that would be another good thing. Uh, whenever you eat food, put a water in your mouth, swish your mouth pretty nicely with and, and throw the water out and do it several times so that uh, you can clean out your teeth properly and uh, the food particles which is stuck in your gums or in your teeth get out without... Uh, uh, staying there and, and uh, allowing the, big, the wrong bacteria to grow. 
So one another interesting thing, disease which I did not talk about is called halitosis or bad breath. And people who has a gum disease has a bad breath. And this is because, again, inflammation in the gum. But also, these same bacteria are traveling into your intestine and you have overgrowth of the bad bacteria. When you have overgrowth of the bad bacteria, you are also having bad breath or halitosis, so which is, may not be the best thing again. I was talking about what you need to do to help with your uh, um, dental hygiene. So brush your teeth, clean your uh, tongue in ayurvedically we also encourage to clean the tongue there are tongue dip, uh, scrapers available you can also brush if you don't have a tongue uh, scrapers you know brush your teeth uh, and brush your tongue too some people don't encourage it but if you don't have a uh, tongue scraper you can do that and you know what but another interesting thing about the brush is that's one of the biggest source of reinfecting your gums and teeth again and again so uh, there has been studies done uh, on the toothbrush of people and their toothbrush has a lot more bacteria than in a toilet uh, toilet pot uh, where we urinate and defecate. So you can, you can understand that when you are brushing with the same toothbrush again and again and again, you are reintroducing a lot of bacteria there uh, because the bacteria uh, grow in a wet area and a lot of toothpaste has sugars in it. So there is some sugar left on the toothbrush. And uh, so they got wetness, they got the sugar, and then they, uh, you know, when you put it in mouth, you, you got good, lots of bacteria. So what I encourage people to, take your brush, use a dishwashing soap, or put in your dishwasher, and wash with your uh, utensils. And that way, this is a simple and easy method of uh, uh, detoxifying or cleaning your uh, um, toothbrush on a daily basis. And if you don't have that much time that you cannot put in a in dishwasher, buy hydrogen peroxide and uh, put in a glass and dip your brush in that hydrogen peroxide. And before you start brushing, rinse it out with the water. And that way, you know, your all the bacteria in that brush will be dead and your brush will be also very, very clean. So you can do s these simple things to help you keep your brush clean because the clean brush is very important. If you don't do clean brush because you go on introducing same infection again and again in your mouth, you are going to have trouble. So that is another thing which you need to keep in mind is uh, that your brush should be nicely uh, sanitized and you don't want to reuse again and again same old infected brush. Uh, food wise uh, you might have known about the disease scurvy which is a vitamin C deficiency disease and uh, uh, the sailors in the early 19th centuries 18th centuries when we were traveling long distance they were not getting vegetables so most of the vegetables have some vitamin C so when they were not eating vegetables they got scurvy their gums got inflamed and uh, so vitamin C is the uh, one leading cause, deficiency is leading cause of the, the, uh, the periodontal disease. So where you get your vitamin C? You get your vitamin C from lots of uh, oranges and kiwis and grapefruit and broccoli and strawberries, uh, mangoes and bell pepper. Bell pepper has yellow bell pepper has a lot of vitamin C by the way. Papaya, cantaloupe, Brussels sprout, you name it. All those fruits and vegetables has lots of vitamin C and that vitamin C is very important but it's not also bad to take a pill of vitamin C and you can take a 500 milligram pill a couple times a day and as a you know preventive and it's good non-toxic again you know I think 500 milligrams will not notice unless you take several hundred grams of it uh, I think some people uh, has a uh, when they take vitamin C in excessive amount, they get diarrhea because it's very acidic and it, it changes the pH of the gut and people will have loose tools. Basically, vitamin C in its importance, so you can take vitamin C, but you can also consume lots of fruits and vegetables. If you listen to my program, I heavily encourage people to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. And as much as five to six servings of vegetables a day, two servings of fruits a day, and, and another emphasis is try to eat what is available in that season. So seasonal fruits and vegetables are very healthy for all of us. And they not only prevent gum disease, they also prevent lots of other diseases like diabetes, heart disease, cancer. So you can see there is a link, you know, uh, which is properly established when you eat lots of fruits and vegetables.
Another nutrient which is low in uh, periodontal disease is vitamin D. Interestingly, most of us are very low in vitamin D. And uh, because we have been told the sun is so bad for us, and uh, we don't go out in the sun, and if you go in the sun, we lather up so much sunscreens and stuff which is kind of toxic to us. And I've spoken on the subject previously on this radio show here. And uh, that uh, the I'm not in greatest favor of the sunscreen because one thing they don't help and you're putting a chemical which is cancer causing. So it defeats the purpose of having uh, the sunscreen because you are putting more chemicals and it's not going to help you. So healthy sun exposure is very important. Most of the time people, when they go out on the vacation and they are sitting in front of the sun for 12 hours, that is bad for you. That is going to burn you. But every day we should have 20 to 30 minutes of healthy sun exposure. You expose your arms, your legs. Uh, and if you want to wear a hat on your head, that's perfectly okay. But you should have some body surface naked. And if you apply a little oil on it, that also helps you to absorb more vitamin D. But living in Northwest, you know, the sun is very uh, you know, expensive commodity here because we don't get a lot of sun here. But if you are uh, low in vitamin D, vitamin D substitution is important. And in Northwest, what I've seen is that we need around 5,000 IU international unit of vitamin D at least. And uh, ask your doctor to check your uh, vitamin D level. I don't know why most of the insurance companies are not covering it. Vitamin D single factor can cut down diseases into 50%. So the vitamin D has shown to cut all cause mortality. That means from any reason you die to 50%. So very simple and easy way of uh, getting vitamin D. You just take a, a 5000 IU and if you get healthy exposure of sun, that's wonderfully good too. Then uh, uh, you can also use uh, you know, baking soda to clean your teeth. Basically, you put on your brush and brush your teeth gently. Don't rub too hard with the baking soda because it can also irritate your gums. So be careful about it. And uh, you'll be surprised that how faster you start to feel better. Uh, you can also take uh, baking soda and uh, put in your uh, mouth with the water and swish it. You know, that's another way of keeping your mouth uh, pH balanced, not very acidic because a lot of these bacteria are acidic uh, loving media, uh, uh, sorry, acid uh, uh, loving bacteria. And uh, when you put baking soda, it alkalizes it and cut down the growth of these bacteria. So uh, we will continue our discussion when we come back after the short break again here. And uh, the, uh, keep uh, listening to this program and we're talking about periodontal disease and what you can do to help your periodontal disease. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues, and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. This is Dr. Sodi and we're talking about periodontal disease and what you can do to help periodontal disease. So one other thing which Ayurvedic medicine recommends is, is called oil pulling. Oil pulling is basically a method where you put oil in your mouth and you are uh, swishing with the oil and oil can be coconut oil, olive oil, sesame oil and you keep in your mouth for 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, this is a simple and easy process but a lot of 
time people don't like to put oil in their mouth and I think I don't know why but it is actually amazingly uh, helpful for dental condition and oral hygiene uh, there has been studies published on it and uh, which has shown to improve the dental hygiene so oil basically is works like a, you are using soap you know for cleaning the dishes the if you look at the soap soap has a lot of oil in it and that's how the uh, soaps are made is oil and with the soda according to ayurvedic traditions the oil pulling is kills the bad bacteria heals the bleeding gum prevent heart disease reduces inflammation make your teeth look more shiny and nicer uh, it also helps your throat uh, it uh, if your throat is dry prevent cavities uh, people who has a cracked lips help help them uh, boost immune system improve acne and also strengthen the jaw so there is a lot of benefits of the oil pulling so it's very old technique you know uh, so uh, the ayurvedic medicine has used it for several thousands of years uh, if you look at you know the brushing is a, a kind of a new phenomena and uh, the especially with the nylon bristles you know uh, it's a synthetic stuff and i don't know if really good for you to put this uh, synthetic thing in your mouth but our you know word is so filled with this now synthetic thing it is uh, uh, interesting that uh, you know we are used to it uh, as a young kid growing up i we did not use brush the teeth basically we did not have the brushes and what we were using was a twig of a tree and there were so many different trees which will use as a, a twig and we call that a datun datun and i think the indian folks know that especially the older folks uh, people who have lived in the villages and i grew up in the villages uh, so we'll take that stick chew it and make it a brush out of it and then clean our teeth with it and it was very wonderful way of doing it disposable toothbrush on a daily basis and i think you are also getting a lot of good bacteria because every tree has its own set of bacteria and when you have that healthy tree and have a healthy bacteria you also introducing those healthy good bacteria into your into your mouth the advantage is that uh, i did not brush up to the high school we were using this twig and then we will break open this uh, stick into two into halves in the center and use that as a tongue scraper the uh, and so it was again thrown away uh, after use and uh, so the advantage what i had is i did not have any cavities i don't have any gum disease and i'm 60 years old and you can well imagine yes or no i have a grinded teeth because because of the you know the uh, uh, grinding i have at night but that's only on, on the one back molar uh, has caused the effect to it but i'm trying to avoid that i'm doing some exercises to help it and it has cut down already and uh, dentist gave me the night guard but you know it's like a putting that plastic i don't like i don't digest that very well so for oil pulling what do you need to do is you just take some oil and uh, you can take coconut oil coconut oil is a very powerful antifungal antibacterial antivirus and you can start with a one teaspoon put it in your mouth and pull it pull it pull it many times and keep it in your 10 minutes in your mouth and don't want to swallow that oil because now you have pulled out of toxins and garbage and you want to throw it out so that's the one way and you want to do for 10 to 15 minutes every day and you can do twice a day there has been studies published out of india and even the studies has been done in other countries too and they found when people did oil pulling their the streptococcus bacteria reduced significantly which is which causes the tooth decay and the another study done in the school of dentistry in chennai india showed that people when they did oil pulling their microorganisms were less in which makes plaque so they were not making that gooey stuff sticky stuff on the teeth similarly you know sesame oil has been used and has very similar results to the coconut oil you can see the oil you know also uh, because you if you look at the mucous membrane of the whole body every every cell has a fat layer around it so the fats are very important for us 
body manufactures it to body makes around 3000 mg of uh, cholesterol every day if that cholesterol was so bad for us body will not manufacture because it's needed by the every cell it needs for hormone balances it also helps digestion it also keeps our skin moist so all those you know benefit of fat is there but uh, we have been told that the fats are so bad for you and uh, especially uh, the saturated fats are so bad and uh, we were told that trans fats were good not anymore but previously we were told that trans fats were the best oil for the for the body and just to find out those are the worst thing it's like the statin drugs still we are believing statin drugs are lowering cholesterol and it's not uh, it's lowering cholesterol yes but it's not preventing heart disease so uh, oil pulling is phenomenally good for a lot of people uh, and who will be able to uh, do it on a daily basis and they will see some remarkable results so uh, what kind of food are good for you when you have uh, the uh, issues with the gum diseases and as i said earlier the vegetables 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 so the vegetables are amazing amazing health thing for almost every disease no matter what you have you have a cancer you have a high blood pressure you have a heart disease you have diabetes you have gum disease you have osteoporosis everything is helped all these diseases are helped by the eating lots of good vegetable another thing which you can help food wise is a yogurt yogurt is a uh, you know now actually you see a lot of uh, yogurt out in the market but unfortunately they have a lot of chemicals in them so i don't recommend those yogurt which you see in the shelf there because they have added carnagenes and uh, gums and uh, uh, sugars and a lot of these are loaded with sugar uh, we don't need it milk is naturally sweet and uh, we uh, don't need to add a lot of sugar if you want you can add some fruit but but not uh, the sugar and uh, sometimes you know you can i also put a little streak of uh, honey on top of it which is honey is also different form of sugar and it's also prebiotic the what that mean is it really helps the good bacteria to grow in your system so yogurt is a good food for your uh, bacteria in the gut and in the mouth too because when you eating yogurt the mouth first is the first place where the this good bacteria is going to hit then uh, uh, we talked already about you know the uh lots of vegetables and uh, we vitamin c food uh, we already talked about that one tea is another good thing for us you know green tea and the black tea they have uh, uh, the phyto uh, nutrients in them and they are astringent so they keep the gums tighter but there is a side effect to it too when people drink a lot of green tea or black tea they get stains on their teeth uh, similar to the wine wine also gives you stain on the teeth too but those can be easily taken care of uh, you can rinse with the hydrogen peroxide or you rinse your mouth after uh, drinking tea that will help you to get it you know out of your system and your gums will be more healthier so folks uh, uh, I, we are talking about the periodontal disease and how you can help your teeth to be healthier and uh, we will continue the discussion If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in a junctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. So folks, we talked about periodontal disease in our radio show today and I'm going to summarize what we have talked about and what you can do to help this process so that you don't get periodontal disease 
periodontal disease is the imbalance in the bacterial flora of the mouth cavity. The good guys versus bad bacteria. There's too much growth of the bad bacteria, which is causing inflammation and causes the periodontal disease. So that is the in nutshell why we get the periodontal disease. Periodontal disease has been linked to cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, pneumonia, cancer, and uh, even low birth weight. So these are, you know, not the good diseases to have. Once people have those diseases, uh, you are actually also cutting short your lifespan and you're prone to many other complications along with it. So it's very important for us, all of us, to keep a good hygiene of the teeth and uh, uh, help the teeth to, uh, and the gums to stay healthy. And uh, there are certain rules and regulation for that. And number one is eating lots of vegetables. I encourage people to eat around four to five servings to six servings of vegetables. If you're not used to that much vegetables, add slowly. Start with the one serving. And if you're doing okay, one next week, add second serving. And then add third serving and then fourth serving. Every week add on. It may take up to three months for you to go to the level because if you all of a sudden you start eating six to seven servings of vegetables, your tummy is going to bloat up like a, a whale. And you will have gas, and you'll be you know, cursing me rather than uh, you know, happy with my, my recommendations. So don't do that, but slowly add it. Try to eat fruits and vegetables which are in season. Try to eat two fruits a day. So two fruit is like one apple, one banana, one orange. That would be one fruit. And uh, one cup of berries or strawberries or all those grapes. You know. So those will be one fruit. And nuts and seeds because they provide you good protein, they provide you good oils. And uh, so those are the food part and uh, the f fruits and vegetables which are rich in vitamin C. If you eat variety of fruits and vegetables, you not, don't have to think about it. But vitamin C rich fruits are your oranges and your kiwis and bananas and bell peppers and that type of stuff, you know. So those are very, very healthy for us. Then you wanted to, after eating food every time, because, you know, you cannot carry your brush all the time. But you, this, you can be easily do it. So put my, uh, the water in your mouth after you have finished your meals and swish your mouth with that water and then throw the water out. Or you can swallow it too because this is just the food, nothing gross on it. It's just like you have the food. And you can swish it, swish it a few times. And uh, that way, you know, you can... Uh, Clean your teeth and the sticky food which is uh, stuck inside your teeth is uh, not any there and uh, which is not going to uh, help the bad bacteria to grow. So that's a simple, easy technique which a lot of people can do it. Another thing which I did not tell you is a gum massage. So you can take any oil like a coconut oil, olive oil, put on your finger and massage your, once you have done your brushing, massage your gums from side to side you know both sides ups ups and down and that will help you to keep your gums healthy because you you're stimulating the circulation you're increasing more oxygen in them and the more oxygen kills bad bacteria and keeps you healthy and, and happier oil pulling you know is a very nice method and you can do once or twice a day you put oil in your mouth and you swish it swish it for 10 20 minutes and that will keep your uh, gums very healthy and uh, happier and uh, you will cut down all the disease process with that one too you can also take uh, vitamin c 500 milligrams a couple times a day which is good the another good thing to do is uh, coq10 which is available at the health food store and you can take a couple hundred milligrams twice a day because it's also good for the gum lining. Uh, there are lots of Ayurvedic herbs which you can do. Trifla is good. It's a stringent. Uh, neem, which is taken internally. Or even the there are, as a young kid, we used to use the neem twigs for brushing the teeth, which is bitter like a hell. But it's very phenomenally good. There is a studies done on neem and dental hygiene and it's shown that it uh, kills the bad bacteria there. So... Uh, with that, then, you know, a lot of time people ask me, Dr. Swati, what is the simple method if I have gum disease, what I can do to help my gum? So, of course, you know, you go to a dentist, you don't want to uh, not cut that because you, see, you need to see a dentist. But you can use the essential oils, especially oregano oil and cinnamon oil. And also you can use tea tree oil and the cardamom oils. 
So you can mix them in equal part, like a, you know, put a, if you have a brush, put around one drop of a cinnamon oil, one drop of a tea tree oil, one drop of oregano oil, one drop of cardamom oil on your brush and brush your teeth with it gently, slowly, slowly. Your mouth will be very much, uh, you know, clean after that and you're going to kill bacteria with it. And uh, once you kill the bacteria, uh, your gum, the bad bacteria, your gums will be happier and healthier. So that's, uh, you know, the uh, stuff which I want to give to you. And uh, stay healthy, you know, keep your gums and uh, teeth healthy by following simple tools which I given to you today. And if you have any question, give us a call. You can call our clinic 425-453-8022. So have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues, and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma Treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022.
एक जान का कर जाऊ से हासिल प्यार अफीमी है तेरा मेरा प्यार 